What's up, everybody? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Got a good five round workout for you today. Each of those rounds is gonna be three minutes each with a one minute rest in between. So plenty of time to get some good work in, get your sweat on and feeling great for the rest of the day. Fun little uh, choose your own adventure today. We've got a weighted version and an unweighted version for you to choose from. However, if you have weights and are able to do them, we highly encourage you to go that route. Uh, always good to add a little bit of weight to your workouts and, uh, some good workout in there. For the weighted version, it is going to be 10 push presses, 15 weighted sit-ups, 20 goblet squats, and 25 speed skaters. For the unweighted version, similar style, just obviously no weights. 10 push-ups, 15 sit-ups, 20 jumping squats, and then again 25 speed skaters to cap that off. If you make it through all of those within that three minutes, you go back to the top and continue working to finish that three minute round, and then you'll take that one minute rest, pick up where you left off for the next three minute round. So that's what we have in store today. We're gonna go ahead and get warmed up here, and then we'll cover all those different movements, weighted and unweighted for you, and then we'll jump into the workout. All right, starting with heel taps. Just follow along and I'll tell you what we're doing next. breath on that one. <laughs> All right. Do some Cossack squats now. So feet nice and wide. You're going to go side to side and stay as low as possible. Stand up, shake it out a little bit. We're gonna do good mornings next. So, feet shoulder width apart. You bend over just until you feel your hamstrings fire off. Make sure you're keeping a nice flat back. We're gonna do lunge and twist. So lunge forward, twist over the foot that you just landed, and twist back, and other foot.
onto the arms. Palms facing down, parallel to the ground. You're gonna go across the body. Try to keep your core as stable as possible when doing this. Now, same thing, but palms facing up. Now, with parallel arms, go up and down. Really try and reach back as far as you can for these, especially if you're going to be doing push presses. Now, same thing, but alternating arms. Job. Last but not least, we're going to do squat reaches. Squat down to the bottom of your squat. One hand goes to the ground and the other goes straight up. Hold for a few seconds and switch when you're ready. And shake it out. All right, we're gonna do a cherry on top with just some more jumping jacks. So ready, go. Nice and warm, ready to go. We're gonna move through the movements in sequence here for both weighted and unweighted. So we'll go first movement, second, third, and fourth. Starting with the push press. So if you have a weight, a kettlebell, or a dumbbell, that would be ideal for this. Something you can hold on to pretty easily in that rack position. We're just gonna go single implement today. So we're gonna get that weight up into your front rack, making sure you set your back flat every time you lift this up. No rounded backs, right? From here, as we did in the warm up, making sure the core is nice engaged, squeezing your butt, keeping that whole midline nice and tight. Dip with the knees just a little bit and then drive up, using that energy from your leg and hip lockout to push that weight into the air. The arm is just guiding it. Back down, again, rebend those knees and lock it up overhead. After the dip, perfect. You can kind of speed these a little bit. Uh, faster and more fluid in between each one so that dip uh, happens as soon as that weight comes back down. Since there are only 10, we're gonna do five per side every single time. Uh, if you would like to go with two implements, you can. If you have two dumbbells or two kettlebells, we'll leave that one up to you, but for us today, we're just gonna go one per side. Awesome. Uh, for the unwinded version, 10 push-ups, nice and simple. We're going to make sure these are our best looking push-ups though, since there's only 10. So straight body line all the way from the shoulders through the heels and then keeping the elbows close as we come on down, touching only our chest and our thighs to the ground. If you need to scale this down a little bit, we still want to see you keep that straight body line all the way down to the ground, but then you can use your knees to come on up or <laughs> you can go ahead and use a uh, ledge of some sort 
to keep that straight body line, but just decrease the leverage a little bit there. All right, next movement, we're going into weighted sit-ups for the weighted version. We're gonna be holding that weight in front of you here, going on back, touching the ground with your shoulder blades, and then coming on up, getting to at least 90 degrees, right? Even a little bit more in front of that is ideal, but at least to 90. On back down again, on up again, so on and so forth, keeping that weight in front of you to just add a bit more stimulus to that movement. You can play around with feet position here as well. Uh, you can go feet uh, kind of bent like she was earlier. Perfect. You can go knees out to the side for more of a butterfly, or you can go straight legs for more of a pike sit up. Or you can play with all these variations during your workout. Uh, that's what we would recommend anyway. Work slightly different core muscles. You'll be able to move through this a little faster if you don't burn out one particular area. This would be your unweighted version, obviously, your standard setup with any variation of those legs again. All right, moving on. 20 goblet squats. This is for the weighted version, obviously. Going to be holding that weight in front of you in that goblet position or kind of front rack position for only one weight. Staying nice and solid. Big key here, keep your back flat and chest up. We don't want that weight to pull us forward as we squat down. So as she initiates the squat here, sending that butt down and back, knees out to the side, over the toes, keeping the chest nice and upright, right? Can you show us a, kind of a bad posture in the bottom of the squat? Yeah, we don't want that. So really forcing yourself up every time. Think of even getting the elbows high, that could help. And then just going through 20 squats here, nice and controlled. Perfect, cool. Unwinded version, jumping squats today. So again, we're looking for that full range of motion, hitting the bottom of the squat with our hips below parallel, knees out to the side, but we want to see some daylight under those feet as you come on up. So really thinking of locking out the hips and knees on that extension. So show us a couple more here. Yeah, right, we're not, we're not shorting these reps. This is not a full <laughs> squat. We want to see that chest up every single time like Lauren was just doing. So keep that in mind as you go through those if you're doing the jumping squats today. And lastly, 25 speed skaters for everybody. Yay! No <laughs> weighted version of this one, uh, but a great cardio piece here. So we've done these in the past if you've done some workouts with us, but a quick refresher. Lauren will show us a couple here. Side to side, shooting one leg back, and you are touching the ground with that same side of the leg that is shooting back. So definitely a good workout for kind of the outside part of the quad, glute, all that sort of stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so 25 total on that one as well. One, two, three, four, so on and so forth. And then again, if you finish all of that within the three minutes, back to the top of those 10 push press or 10 uh, push ups, and then just keep going through it until we say stop. You'll get that nice one minute rest and then we'll pick back up where we left off. So. That's what we have in store for the workout today. Go ahead, get any equipment set up that you need to. Set up your space for those speed skaters. Grab some water, get some music, and then we will get started here in a second. All right, everybody, we're gonna get started here in just a second. For those of you doing either version, Lauren's gonna go weighted today. I'm gonna go unweighted, so if you want somebody to follow along with, that's who you want to look at. We'll also have each variation written up in the bottom of the screen on each side. So quick uh, little visual cue there if you need that as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started here in 10 seconds. Starting with those push-ups for unweighted or push presses for weighted. All right, begin.
Doing great, guys. Keep on moving. Just a little over a minute. We got 25 seconds, guys. Come on. Doing great. Yeah, on weight is definitely more of a breather for sure. Weighted a little bit more uh, muscular endurance needed for that one. Both are good for you. Oh yeah. All right, five seconds. Great job, you guys. One minute.
Two rounds down. Doing great, you guys. Try to keep up the same pace that you've been doing so far. Check it out. Couple deep breaths. Ooh. 20 more seconds. Oh, get yourself ready for round three. So ready. So ready. <laughs> Doing great. 45 seconds. Doing great. <coughs> Deep breaths again. Try and hold that same pace. 
These last two rounds. Keep it up, keep it up. Just over a minute, come on. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. 30 seconds. Fantastic job. One more round to go. Doing great, everybody. <clears throat> On this last round, pushing it as hard as you can. Three more minutes and we're done. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Picking up where you left off. Going as fast as you can. While staying in control. <laughs> Here we go. Go!
Good job, you guys. Less than a minute. Awesome job, you guys. Oh, take a second, walk around, catch your breath, sit on your couch, lay on the ground, <sighs> do what you need to do. <sighs> Great job. Good. All right, gonna hit a couple stretches here for you, get you feeling good, and we'll call it a day. We worked a lot of Kind of lower back, glutes, hammies, all that from squats and the speed skaters, and then we also work the core from the sit up. So, great one for all of that is a cobra stretch, a seal stretch. Lay down on the ground on our stomach, get your hands in just under your armpits here, then arch up nice and slowly to begin, just as high as you can go. If it's just here on your forearms to begin, that's Fantastic, we wanna make sure the hips stay in contact with the ground. So none of this, if you get to this position here, not doing any good. So keep those hips on the ground. And arch as much as you can, all the way from your neck down to your lower back. Big curve here. Just trying to loosen everything up through your back, lower back, glutes. Go ahead and get three big deep breaths here. So into the nose, breathe all the way into the stomach, and out through the mouth. Again, into the nose, all the way to the stomach, and out through the mouth. One more into the nose. And out through the mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come on out of that. All right, you can adjust a little bit if you need to. We're gonna hit a pigeon stretch on both sides. Again, with those speed skaters, a lot of kind of outside glue. So we're gonna hit that. The pigeon stretch, trying to get your shin perpendicular to your body as much as possible. Then it's gonna sink your hips and your chest to the ground as much as you can. Goal here though is to keep that shin in contact with the ground and not let it bend too much. You start to loosen up if you feel your hip loosening or your glutes loosening, start bending on down a little bit more. Trying to get those hips even closer to your leg. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna walk our chest over our knee, but keep your legs where they are. Again, try to sink into this as much as you can. Might be able to stretch in a slightly different spot. And we're gonna walk our chest back the other way now, over our foot as much as possible, while still keeping the legs where they are. 
probably feel a greater stretch in this one. Kind of through the hip flexor oblique area, most likely. And as we're doing this whole thing, trying to get lower and lower and lower. And let's come on back to center. Chest and hips as low as you can get them right now. Three, two, one. Slowly come on out of that. Oh, nice and controlled. And we're gonna switch legs. Let's get that other leg out in front. Again, perpendicular as much as you can get to your torso. Start relaxing, easing into this stretch. Sinking a little lower if possible. Inching our way over to our knee. Legs staying in position. And inching our way now over towards our foot. If you're feeling a good stretch here, good to keep in mind, you can do these any other day of the week too. You don't just have to do these stretches with us. <laughs> Always a good idea to throw in some stretching throughout your day, even if it's just five, 10 minutes, especially if you're one of those people like most of us that sits at a desk for a majority of our work. If you're not, you're lucky, so good for you. <laughs> and coming back to center one more time. Three, two, one. Slowly come on out of that. All right. That's all I got. Whew. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining us on this presentation. <laughs> <laughs> it was great working out with you and come back. Every week we'll have a new one for you. Um, check out the rest of the channel for great stretching flows, just like, like expanded versions of what we just did here, and more uh, follow along workouts. So one thing we want to hear from you this week, did you like this format, the weighted and unweighted options? And let yes, us know which no. one you did too. If you don't care, tell us that too. <laughs> but we want to know, do you want to see more weights in our videos? Yeah. So comment, email, um, however you can get in contact with us. Yep, so give us a like on this button. Again, let us know what you liked, what you didn't, and subscribe to the channel so you see all these great videos coming out. Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you again in the next one.